Welcome back to Sonic Rider Zero Gravity. Oh shit, Storm, run away. What are- oh wait, you're running towards Amy, right. Man. You're not running away from anything. What a wacky, intense chase he's, scene. Yeah. He's running away from diabetes. <laughs> you can never run away from diabetes. I'm Storm the Albatross, and I'm here to tell it to you about diabetes. Damn, he got knocked the fuck out. Are you gonna get it? <laughs> I love how she started. Ju she just started running with absolutely no clue of where she was going, or no plan. Yeah, how dare you try to put Amy in horny jail? So you're going to find the way out. Am I clear? Who? Huh? <laughs> what happened to the thingy? Did it fall into the water? She I mean, she gave it to him. Well, then what was all the running about? I mean, she just got sick of running, so she just threw it at him. What's that noise? Jesus, Amy. <laughs> Listen, Amy never claimed to be smart. Well, at least no one else has said that Amy was smart anyway. I definitely haven't. See, Amy doesn't try to brute force her way to victory like Sonic or Knuckles do. She uses diplomacy. <laughs> it broke. Well, that thing just fucking died. Oh, hey, it's another one of those things. <laughs> That's the thumbnail right there. What? Or do you want it to be him holding the things in the air? With his no. eyes splayed apart? <laughs> no. The, the fucking shocked face of his is more than enough. Hurry to jet! Oh, oh we, whoa, we should go whoa, within four whoa, minutes. Whoa. Guys. A time limit goal that isn't a random number. I know, right? This is amazing. Well, maybe it is a random number. They randomly selected four minutes. <laughs> anyway, we're not racing with anyone. Just get to the goal in four minutes. Man, why is it always... Why, why, why is it always storming when storms around, huh? You know, I don't know. I'm starting it's... to believe this man is actually just the Kyogre. <laughs> so, I didn't realize Kyogre was a bird. I mean... It has... It has he's, wings. I, he's either a Kyogre or he's a Politoed, because both of those are the only Pokemon I know of that have Drizzle for an ability. Doesn't Pelipper have Drizzle? Actually, I don't... In, later, actually, in later generations, it I does. I think you're right. There, he's a Pelipper. He's a Pelipper? <laughs> Just about. Did you yeah. ever put that picture of the Albatross in? in the I last did. part? Okay. I did not get a chance to watch it yet because uh, I was showering when it went up. You are correct. Drizzle was also an ability added to Pelipper. Yup. Prior to Generation 7, Pelipper did not have Drizzle. So it was like... I was thinking mostly along the lines of like, uh, the Weather Wars of Generation 5. Obviously, Pelipper didn't have Drizzle at the time, which was when Weather Wars were popular, so I forgot that they added that to Pelipper. He's a Pelipper. This is confirmed. Yeah. This is I a, mean, this they're is both a, like... This is a fact. This cannot I mean, be debated. Pelicans and, Al Pelicans and Albatrosses are both like beach birds, so... They're both enough. surfer bros. <laughs> they're both so they're both surfer bros. So yeah, that's actually like a decent comparison. Punch all these boats, boat what cars. What if? <laughs> like how he punched it away while he was gravitifying. What if Game Freak added the drizzle ability to Pelipper because they were inspired by Storm? <laughs> Fuck. 
from the famous hit video game Sonic, Sonic Riders Stardust. Zero Gravity. <laughs> the absolutely quintessential Zero Gravity racing game. Yeah. The original Zero Gravity racing game. Fuck you, Mario Kart 8. Yeah, Actually, there's, pro here, you there's probably a game that came out before this one that had that had a thing about zero gravity. I know, but that's 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 the popular one though. I mean, I'm pretty sure mm. uh, Big Rigs had no gravity. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you look at it True. like that, you're not wrong. They also had no physics at all. Yeah. Boy, I sure do love punching cars and boats. I love Boat. vandalism. Why is this, like, water... What is this, a fucking castle? Sure. Looks like a castle on the outside. No, this is just a McDonald's the, uh... play place. <laughs> Damn. I believe that. I like how they bother to... To show our place, you know what? You know what? It, you know what this is? This is like the the like the the shitty part of town because like when in the hero story when we went through like the water city equivalent, uh, it was like you know a nice bright like fu future water city, and now we're in like the shitty like apocalyptic the slums falling apart. Yeah, basically. Are we forgetting someone? You know, he's late. No, he's forgetting he's us. So long anyway. Sorry, boss. Slam on his How desk. How'd he get again. up there? How'd he get up into the sky? But I brought back That's a good question. He used his big fat bird hands <laughs> to fly up. Not bad, Storm. Not bad. <laughs> Give him a cookie. Yeah. Yes. I found a passage in that ancient text that has me wondering. I'll try to paraphrase it simply enough for you to follow. Nah, <laughs> idiot. Because he's dumb. We reached our decision. We must sever the engine. Why do I feel like these like transparent green, uh, like? like keyboard and screens was like very much a product of the 2000s uh the matrix because it's like ooh future technology and yeah what the heck does that mean? i was going to say it was like started by the matrix how should i know <laughs> anyway we can leave the thinking for later thinking makes my head hurt Kick your desk again, it'll be funny. Please. And there goes Eggman. I love I love how like Eggman has zero involvement in this story up to this point. <laughs> He just made a bunch of robots using some of those thingies, and then... I mean, I know that uh, Jet and Wave meet Eggman in the fucking... Uh, the media... the... fucking... the lab. Mediotech? Is that the name? I believe so. This yeah, doesn't explain uh, why they were waiting there, though. I... We've seen this cutscene already. We have, but I, I still don't know why they were waiting for S Sanic and Co. Because Jet has a fucking, like, hard-on for Sonic, and he wants to be better than him. Well, just uh, pick up a new hobby that he doesn't know anything about. J Jet needs to go to therapy. Like, friendship. Hey, that's my name. Yes. Again, yes. 
Does it matter how many times I see this cutscene? Yes! Yeah. I should have fast forwarded this or something. <laughs> this is literally just the same cutscene. Okay, cool, I guess. And Amy's here, too. Why is she here? Uh, because she had the thingy, and then she ran into Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles, and told them about Gig and Rock. Yeah, but, like, she's basically just along for the ride now because of Sonic. Yeah. I mean, why is Sonic here? He's just along for the ride. Sure. Yeah. Anyway, uh, security corridor. Uh, I like this one, actually. It's... I like this more than the hero story equivalent. That's cool. Uh, it's more like... It's... I, I feel like it's more of a climactic race than the other one, but it's not the final race, so, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's also too bright a... to be a Babylon story race. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, it has to be dark and brooding. Although they did the same thing with uh, Babylon Garden in the first game, where, like, the hero story was like, oh, it's so gray and cloudy, and it's like, ooh, epic. But, like, uh, in the Babylon story, it's like, oh, clear skies. Hmm. Fair. So, it's kind of the same thing here in this, like, penultimate race of the game. Fuck. We haven't been on one of those things in forever. They do exist in this game, but, like, I rarely run into them because I'm usually in first. Oh, the air currents? That, yeah. That, uh, trail up behind people when you're... Yep. Sucking? They're, they're, still, they're still a thing. Okay. I was gonna say, this is okay, the, good. the worst you've done. Yeah. And I'm still doing not that bad. No, you're doing fine. It's just... You weren't in first from the get-go and stayed in first basically the entire race. Yeah. You did mention this game is for babies. This game is kind of for babies. It's for edgy babies. Babies with knives. <laughs> I mean... I remember having some trouble with riders, like the first game when I was a kid. Granted, I was 11 when that when I got that game, but uh, I do not remember having trouble with zero gravity at all. It's just like, I don't know. I feel like they wanted to make the game easier because the first game was like a little too hard for like, you know, kids anyway. But, um, I think they went a little too far in the easy direction. But, uh, eh, oh well. Nothing we can do about it. Except complain about it. Except complain about it, because we're Let's Playing it. Yeah. I mean, what else are we See, supposed to do on the internet? See, now this time all the property jam is just fine, because this is Eggman's stuff. We don't care about him. Uh, yeah. This isn't just, like, a, pub a public monorail. Fair. Or a botanical garden. Uh, as long anyway, as the we want. taxpayers don't have to pay for this, then it's fine. Mm, you got a point. Ah, oh, damn it, we were so close to 311. Damn it. Redo the were slightly... Lower. Hell yeah. Alright. Now for, you know, what actually happens at the end of this cutscene. Oh, so we, we don't get to watch uh, storming into Eggman's office again. Nope. But we watch the entire setup cutscene. Did she build that briefcase specifically for those things? Probably. 
or did it belong to Eggman? Hey Sonic, why do you think the ancient Babylonians sealed away that power unit in the Gigan Rock? I don't sure don't give a fuck, Tails. <laughs> Tails, if you actually cared about this, we would have taken care of it during the hero story. Shut up. Yeah, come on, Tails. It is kind of lazy how, like, the hero story just ends before this part of the cutscene. Yeah, what the and hell? And it's just, like, the only difference between the uh, end of the hero story and the end of the Babylon story is that one of them actually shows you the whole story. Where in something like, uh, I don't know, well, I guess the first game kind of did that too, but like, I don't know, in something like Sonic Adventure 2, you're like, you get different perspectives for like, the whole thing, until the final story. I'm sorry, what were we talking about? Uh, why the robot can still function. Oh, yeah. Also, what happened to Amy? Yeah, where the f- Oh shit. Oh shit, it's the Shadow Realm. Oh <laughs> fuck. Oh god, it's actually happening. That wasn't just a, a fucking imagination. The power units are resonating together, forming a giant black hole. Yeah, that's what Tails just said. Yeah. Did anyone bring their Yu-Gi-Oh deck? I heard that the I... only way to solve this problem is with a children's card game. Let's I... duel. T let's duel the black hole into submission. <laughs> I do, in fact, have a copy of Pot of Greed, so I think we'll be fine. What the fuck is this game? This is a racing game for children. And it's just like... Here's a fucking... What a tornado. What? Why the fuck did they go so hard in the story mode? I was gonna say, the scales... The, not the, yeah, the scale of this, like... Like, this is something that what? happened in Shadow of the Hedgehog. Yeah. By racing! <laughs> this is just a fucking hoverboarding version of Yu-Gi-Oh. Change my mind. Uh, this is Yu-Gi-Oh 6Ds. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just thought of the meme with the scientist that has the vial. He's just like, ah, yes, uh, finally. Yu-Gi-Oh 6Ds. <laughs> anyway... Uh, hold the black hole, defeat Master Core. What the fuck is Master Core Abyss within five minutes? Wait a minute. I don't know. You tell Master me. Master Core? What is it? Fucking Smash oh Brothers is ripping off Sonic Zero Gra Riders Zero Gravity? Bring it on. Yes. Jack, anyway, Jack, how did Smash uh, get away this... <laughs> this is, uh, this is the final boss. Uh, the Master Core. Uh, it says just defeat the boss within five minutes. Uh, that's like if you like if you're if you win this fight, you will do it in like three minutes every time because and not because like it's hard to uh, or not because it's like too easy and you're going to do it in like three three minutes every time, but because like you basically need to be in first to win this fight because. God, there's a lot to explain. So you don't have your normal gravity abilities in this race. Like when the uh, the dive that just happened happens, it does it automatically. So like right here, uh, that's just that just happens every time you get to a certain point in the track, and then you fly forward, and then you smash into the core. You do that six times, and then you win the fight. But the thing is, is that if you're not in first place and someone else hits the core before you get to it, that does not count as a hit against the boss. Sonic the has to be the one to do it for some reason. That's so dumb. 
Yeah. He's literally held no plot significance this entire game. And now they're just like, oh, yeah. but Sonic, you're the only one that can Sonic, kill boss. Yeah, Sonic has to do it. And it's annoying, too, because the your, like, partner AI is really good, especially Tails. And you can't, like, gain speed by, like, gravity boosting or Off of drifting or whatever. Yeah. It's like, you can't do shit. And they can move, like, just as fast as you can. We can't have shit So in it's like... It's not easy to stay in first place. This one took me like, God, 20 minutes to do. It took a few tries. This is like the only part of the game that's like relatively challenging. Ow. That looks yeah, like a homing yeah. shot. Be careful, Sonic. God damn it. You look out, Tails. At least it gives you a grindy rail. And yet oh, you get far nice you end up getting further away. Yeah, but you move faster on uh, the grind rail than you do at like what your board top speed would be. Plus it gives you GP. Not that you can use it, but <laughs> Yeah. You still get yeah. it. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I guess Babylon Garden just has this, like, Mobius Strip racetrack inside of it. Yeah, that sounds about right. We, we did it. I love that the Babylon story is one-third heroes gameplay. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Um, also, uh, the way that the, the race works is that uh, every two hits, it completes a quote-unquote lap. Because, like, if you don't uh, get two hits on it, when you complete the lap, it'll stay on lap one. Mm. Or lap two. Weird. It's structured pretty weirdly. We did it. We saved the world by racing. So are you okay with all this? Or no. Much as I miss the vastness of space... This world still has its charm. Were we in space? God, Chet's I'm, I'm voice kind is of unclear as to... Is he an alien? I'm kind of unclear as to where we were. Like, we were in the black hole, but like... Eh, I don't know. Anyway, back to the grayest city in the universe. Hmm. I wonder what those this isn't Cleveland, people. Ohio. They had some programming that made them try to get no, it's Detroit. Hey, where the fuck did yeah. you come from? You weren't. Yeah. Why, why were? Why are you here now? It's like you weren't there in the last cutscene. It's like now they're just going out to get lunch, and she's just like, "Ooh, can I come?" But who made that program? Like literally, where were they going at the beginning of the game? Was it just to get lunch? And they just happened to take their fucking hoverboards with them. They had to use an ATM. But the people of Babylon. I can't believe they were the descendants <laughs> of aliens. They crash landed on this planet. So like now they're um disconnected their engineering fucking expositioning about uh fall back down to the, the Babylon like lore and how they're like aliens apparently. So all birds are aliens. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, apparently. That's uh, that's that's the moral of the story. Don't trust birds; they're aliens. They're aliens. Also, they're terrorists. Oh yeah. Speaking of, what's up, Mr. Terrorist? Are they allowed to like hoverboard inside of these like uh, tubes for like you know people to drive in? Well, Feels dangerous. there's no uh, police trying to stop them at the moment. Well, that's the game. We did it. We did it. Yeah. Oh.
what did what did what did you, what did you guys think of this masterful video game? It exists. I thought it was a, I thought it was a complete master. <laughs> um, you too. Gee. Yeah. Oh hell yeah! Oh god, stab my fucking ears! <laughs> <laughs> fucking stab my ears! I'm out. Sonic Riders featuring Fred Durst. This is so yeah. fucking bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, so after, uh, I guess, final thoughts. This isn't the final part. I'm going to do, like, another bonus part, like last time, where I show off, like, some extra courses that we haven't seen yet, and maybe some unlockable characters. Ooh. <laughs> But Cloud, you're not you're not at the amazing chorus yet. No, I I'm good. <laughs> Catch me if you can. Um <laughs> No, I think this game's alright. It's not as good as the first game because the gameplay is like kinda s kinda like dumbed down a little bit. Uh which is kind of ironic given that you have like, ooh, gravity shifting abilities, but like it's not super complicated when you use it. And it doesn't make for like the most interesting gameplay. But like it's still alright. It's a it's a decently fun racing game. It makes for a four part let's play. Of all of the Sonic racing games, about where would you rank this? Um, boy. Remember, Sonic R is top tier. <laughs> um, probably... God, I'm trying to remember what even all there is. Uh, There's the All-Stars Racing games. Team Sonic Racing, Sonic Drift, Sonic Team Drift Sonic 2. Team Sonic Racing. Uh, and then there's, um... Sonic R. I like, it more th and then I like it more than the Drift games. I like it more than the Drift games. There we go. That's high um, praise. Yeah, it's. Uh, I've never played Free Riders, but I can already say that it's better than Free Riders. <laughs> uh, I haven't played either of the Rivals games. Oh so yeah, that's I right. There are the Rivals games. This is better than those. Um, um, I'm gonna say I would have to revisit the Rivals games, uh, but I, from what I've seen, I think I'd rather stick to the Rivals games. Um, I will say that uh, All Stars Racing Transformed is still the best Sonic Racing game. Incorrect. Uh, no you. No you. That game is god tier. But it's not Sonic. If only Mario, it had a. So if only it, if only it had a story mode to LP. <laughs> oh hi, four kids. Goodbye, four kids. Get that shit out of my face. Thank you for playing Sega. this game that I was definitely never going to touch, Jack, because, well, yeah. <laughs> Finn. Finn. We did it. You guys ready to unlock a bunch of shit? Sure. Yeah. What do we get? What do I get? What do I personally get? We get 30 get? seconds what of you unlocking you shit, apparently. Get? Yeah. Babylon Cup. Uh, Astral Babylon. Unlocked Astral Babylon. New mission That's for it. That's a we're going to see next time. A new course. 80s Boulevard. A new mission for it. New course, a new mission for it, another new course, another new mission for it, new ca we silver. silver, it's no use, and Blaze, Blaze, and Eggman, Eggman. and the robot, oh, yeah, and a board, we unlock a bunch of shit, anyway, next time on Sonic Riders Zero Gravity, we're gonna just show off some bonus shit, show off some courses that we just unlocked, and maybe the missions for them. We won't, but, you know. Next time.